Geek Citadel. Welcome to Playing Games. I'm Kevin Jones, and this is Read Only Memories. Um, yeah, so let's get right into it. Go ahead and go in through the PC stuff, and there's no real choices here. You get to flip the GUI. I don't know what that does. I don't really want to do it. Run in the background, virtual cursor, etc., etc. As you can see here, I've already started playing the game, but I want to start a fresh new game just for you guys. So let's try it out. Starting a new game will overwrite your continue. Blah, blah, blah. I don't care. I haven't gotten that far in anyway. I got far in enough to know that I need to do a playing games. So I'm going to be quiet right here and let you guys watch this good stuff. Neo San Francisco, 2064 AD. The world is on the cusp of not one, but three technological singularities. Cybernetic augmentation and genetic modification allow the repair and enhancement of almost any part of a human body. Millions of people jack into virtual worlds every day to work, play, and connect with one another with advanced brain-to-machine technology. Easier access to genetic modification leaves hybrids walking the streets, looking less human every day. Relationship organizational managers, or ROMs for short, are the commonplace companion and tool of any modern person. However, they are still machines at their core. The logic they are built on impedes their ability to think for themselves and determine their own behavior. Ah, that's right. You see, this is at the heart of why we took on this merger with Parallax and... We wanted to take artificial intelligence to the next level. And now, well, we have devices that can truly adapt. Organizations, like the human revolution, seek to slow the relentless pace of progress, fearing that unchecked technology will make us lose the very things that make us human. High above the rising tension below, a parallax engineer buries himself in schematics and equations, trying to bring a new kind of life into the world. And with this, Humanity's destiny will be altered forever. Well, as you can see, this game has an opening very similar to games like Snatcher, old school games from like the <laughs> late 80s and 90s. So, this game actually plays like one of those as well, so as you're going to see in a second. Now, the reason I was quiet during that whole intro is because that's like probably the last time you'll hear text for like a long time in this game. I haven't heard any more, not text, you heard any voices. Uh, I haven't heard any voices since then, so let's see what's going on here. So, you know, you move the cursor around, click on items, uh, typical the choose your own adventure type of stuff going on here. Okay, maybe not so sweet. Musty must be a better, might be a better descriptor. So your character is kind of can be anything you find out later when you get further into the game. Right now you could be a man, a woman, a great, an alien, one of this plant. <laughs> None of it matters. So I'm going to skip through this. Headphone. These are the GX Ultra Beach you need to write a review for. Guess now is as good a time as any to get to work. Hey, that's like my job for real. They're smart headphones, so you should be able to use them with some of the things lying around your apartment. All right, so we're going to use it on this here. These damn headphones. Oh, shit, got some YMO playing against playing in your ears. Jack it up to computer. You watch a live stream of courtroom TV show you know it's scripted. All right. What if I do it on paper? <clears throat> this page is blank. All of it is useless. What if I do it on this water? You can hear the sink gurgling in high def. All right. You open up the fridge to see a bottle of mustard and a carton of spoiled milk, which has developed an odor. Maybe the spoiled milk has one more good day on it. Maybe. Take the milk, baby. 
So let me see items. Look at the spoiled milk. Is spoiled milk a good bit past due date? I'm right, gonna play some music. Yeah, I guess you could use this to just play random music from the game. Ah, screw it. All right, so that's pretty pretty much all you do in the game. So I'm gonna boot up the laptop. Lappy is a bit of a relic. You have an article due tonight. Better finish it before bed. All right. So you can check out the news and all that stuff. And it's pretty uh, heavy if you start reading into all that stuff. It'll tell you all kind of information. We're not going to do that, though. It's going to take too much time. I'll let you explore this for yourself if you actually want to play the game. What we're going to do is advance. Uh, uh, all right, stop. Stop it. Stop the information. I get it. All right. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to write the review. All right, time to get the work out of the way. Let's do this. Selling your soul bit by bit, character by character. Finished. Now to send it off to the editor. There, your big break. Surely your glowing review of the GX Ultra Beats is your ticket out of pot of poverty and into a good book deal. Surely. Stop calling me Shirley. <laughs> Work is finally out of the way. This time for bed. Better log out. Or you could go through the rest of your emails before you sleep. Logging out, baby. Because, uh... I'm just gonna go through my email just because that seemed like it was trying to tell me something. It didn't do that the last time I did it because I checked all my emails. So I'm just gonna go ahead and check all this stuff. By checking, I mean I'm just gonna skip through it laboriously. I might actually skip this on the video. Too. Now we're going to sleep. That's not creepy. Ah, uh, good. You're finally awake. I have to forgive, forgive me, I'm gonna do voices in this. I'm honestly not sure why most, most humans still have such lengthy sleep cycles. Are you that significantly opposed to <laughs> cybernetic arguments? <clears throat> How'd you get in my apartment? I came in through the front door. The cryptographic algorithms it uses are actually quite abysmal. It only took me 17 trillion clock cycles to break your entry code. It looks rather imposing, but it's actually a knockoff to the SecuGate M14723B. 17 trillion? The SecuGate M14? I knew my landlord. I knew my landlord was full of it when he said it was the best. Don't feel too bad. I actually cheated a bit when I cross-referenced no significant numeric codes against the stored personal data on you. I'm not certain why you picked the birthday of your first dog, but it was sufficiently obscure to defeat most casual attempts to enter. Frankly, I felt a little silly that I took the time to do it once I noticed that the lock on your window is broken, and that you left it open. My window's lock is broken? Yes, I attempted to repair it, but it uses proprietary bolt head that I am not <laughs> equipped to remove. I took the liberty of filing a maintenance request with your building superintendent. Considering the speed at which he was has he has historically worked, I estimate it will take him 17 working days to complete the repair. Not quite to my standards. You know my dog's birthday? Honestly, it would have t taken me longer if I had to enter the codes manually, but it was trivial to slice through the door's fire firewall and try against the stored data co directly. I would suggest investing in an NCEF model 1355. The 1385 is newer, but I find the added attack vector introduced by the voice controls isn't worth the convenience. You got that technical jargon. <clears throat> it has 300 five-star reviews on Congo. Hold on. Hold on. What are you doing in my apartment? I hope you don't mind. While you were asleep, I had some spare time on my hands, so I reorganized your records in entertainment media using BISAC. 
Once that was done, I found the cleanliness of your living and workspace to be suboptimal com- condition for the long-term performance of my micro-accurate, <laughs> micro-accuate, yeah, micro-accuators. So I took the liberty of cleaning the place up a bit. As you awoke, I was attempting to interface and make performance adjustments to your personal computer, but I've run into a bit of a snag. A snag? Unfortunately, your motherboard seems to have broken down in some way while I was attempting to remove your particularly nasty malware. An electrical surge caused significant damage to several other components as well. I will consider it no great loss, though. Why were you using that dinosaur to begin with? All my work was on there! Don't fret. I did manage to back up your data's drives to content before the crash. Additionally, I am willing to serve at your personal computer until you procure a replacement or provide the parts necessary for me to make the repairs. It is the least I can do. Uh, okay, and you decided to break it to my home because... Ah, uh, I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to engage you in any sort of subterfuge, but I tend to ramble on a bit when I'm nervous. I have all of the necessary protocols, but I've never actually spoken to another person besides Hayden until now. Wait, you know my friend Hayden? Hayden Weber? Well, saying I know Hayden is putting it simply, but yes. I haven't seen Hayden in years. Where is he? I don't really know. That's why I'm here. Help me! You aren't quite my only hope, but certainly the most statistically supported. I have done the math. Hey, why come to me? I ran an algorithm against every contact in Hayden's address book. Based on my assumptions of visibility, directness of connection to Hayden, occupational skill, and probable motive, you were the candidate most likely to both be willing, uh, able and willing to help me. And the one least likely to be suspected of helping me. Why should I get, in, why should I get involved? I haven't seen Hayden in forever. I took into account that you might not want to help me out of the goodness of your heart, as they say. But considering your recent slump in published articles and the lack of liquid assets in your bank accounts... I figured you would jump at the chance to be first on the scene of the violent disappearance of a prominent parallax researcher right in the heart of Neo SF. Am I wrong? Maybe you store your cash under that ratty mattress in the corner. Um, point. Earlier tonight, Hayton's apartment was assaulted by some unknown persons. He seemed frightened, terrified even, and instructed me to escape lest I be captured by the intruders, too. I, I crawled out of a window, and after some deliberation, came here. I f- heard them breaking down the door as I left. Why would they want Hayden? Hayden is one of the top researchers at Parallax, but I can't imagine that would be enough to have him kidnapped. To get him kidnapped. Especially since no one has even tried to offering him more money yet. I suspect it has to do with me. Who are you, anyway? What do you have to do with it? Ah, uh, excuse me, I forgot to introduce myself. I have never had the pleasure of doing so before. I am Turing. It sounds a bit unflattering, but I suppose you could describe me as one of Hayden's experiments. He's currently researching advanced me- machine intelligence at Parallax. I am personal sci- I am a personal side project of his. Exploring true artificial sapience. It's possible that the idea of a sapient machine could scare or tempt an organization into kidnapping him. Either to stop his research or to take it and use it for themselves. So, Chatty, what makes you so special? A regular ROM has virtual intelligence. They can appear rather smart, even seeming human when you talk to them. This is just because they're cleverly programmed to respond to a variety of situations in an organic manner. They aren't in any way self-deterministic. As for myself, much of my code wasn't actually written by Hayden, but rather compiled during my infancy as I was taught to interact with the world around me. But, despite my ability to self-modify my code, I'm not certain that I am sapient. I am afraid to adapt or develop any further without Hayden's guidance. Did he only program me with the illusion of free will? How would you know, one way or the other? Hayden once told me that his desire to create artificial life stemmed from his need to find out, but I can't say I have any new insight into this question. It worries me. Worries at me. 
How can any of you tell that you aren't just puppets dancing to someone else's will? I think we're getting a little too philosophical here. You're right. I apologize for the tangent. Was anyone out for hating? Was anyone out for hating? No, I'm not even certain who would benefit the most from taking Hayden prisoner. It's not as though he had been looking over his soldier, shoulder. However, there are several there are several multinational company corporations that can make use of his engineering skills, but I can't imagine any of them would go as far as snatching him. He also has never indicated to me any possible danger from an outside group person or group. We're out of time. What? I took the liberty of charging the auto, auto cab fare from here to Hayden's apartment to your personal finance account, and the car has just arrived. Why not go to the police? They might be able to help. No, we can't. Hayden warned me that the authorities would be in the pocket of whoever was after him. My own calculations show that the possibilities of corruption or a leak are dangerously high. If word gets out that Hayden is kidnapped, his life may be put in further danger. His chances of escape would surely decrease. We must keep this to ourselves for now. Please. Alright. Lead the way. So as you can see, lots of talking. It's almost a visual novel in a way. With minor uh, adventure elements. Like I said, this is the first chapter and... I played through a lot of this, I'll say early, and I didn't really get to do much, but like pick some stuff up. So it's not like a heavy puzzle intensive game so far. That's strange. They seem to have replaced Hayden's store already. I'm certain my audio sensors picked up the sounds of his assist assailants breaking the lock. You might have misheard. You were busy running away. Maybe. But I find it unlikely. My audio sensors are more sensitive than a human's ear, and I heard Hayden's voice clearly as I made my tactical retreat. Oh. A lucky break. It seems my access codes still work. Hayden's door has far better security than yours does. Uh, just be careful. Will do. As you enter, you take a glance around the studio apartment. Not much has changed since your last visit a few years ago. It doesn't look like there was much of a struggle. Are you sure he was actually kidnapped, Terry? It doesn't look like there was much of a struggle. I'm not surprised. Hayden is not the most physically intimidating of, of individuals. I doubt that he could have fought off serious attackers. I should have stayed and tried to protect him. Aren't you programmed against harming humans? Hmm. Of course not. How silly. To make a machine intelligence truly self-deterministic, it must be able to self-modify. Any sapien worth their silicon would be able to code around such an inhibitor eventually. Eventually, I could rip your arm off right now if I care to. A comforting turn. Why don't you? I won't for the same reasons you don't go around randomly killing people. The social contract, as a usual construct, is just as apparent to me as it is to you. It simply isn't acceptable to go on a murderous rampage. I'm glad we we're clear on that one, buddy. Self-defense and defense of one's home and family is typically allowed, though. I could have, I could have, and may have been obligated to come to Hayden's defense, but I. And if you, if they were after you, you did the right thing, getting away. Excellent point. Let's start searching for clues. All right. As you can see, graphics are very, very old school. I mean, that's, and that's great. You know, got that NES kind of look to it. With a highly detailed story, kind of like those old school games like Deja Vu. Reminds me a lot of Infocom games. I think I see something under those reference books. Right. What's this? Ah, Hayden's tablet. I find it rather annoying that he prefers to go basic rather than trust me with his schedule. It is well within my skill set, but he claims he does not want me to begin to feel subservient to him. The memory card slot is empty. It seems to be a match with the memory card you discovered. Alright, let's use items. 
right? Oh, uh, no, like this, I guess. Got to click on it. All right, here we go. Hayden must have taken out the memory card in order to prevent his assailants from easily tracing his connections. If only he had kept his information stored within me. With me, he would not have to resort to such crude measures. The tablet's cal calendar says he was supposed to meet with someone named Tomcat today. Ring any digital bells? Not really. I guess we'll have to go ask. Says here they were going to meet at a club called Stardust in the Castro. I'll mark it on your map for you. We can head over there and ask around about this Tomcat character. My city map? Oh, excuse me. I still haven't set up a user account for you in my system. We shouldn't put that off any, any longer. Once finished, I will have an assortment of new ways to assist you. For example, I'll be able to reroute any call or message that you receive while we're out and about. There are many other systems and applications you will be able to utilize in addition to these. This is an exciting thing, I promise. I just need to ask you a few questions. Don't you know literally everything about me already? You knew my first dog's birthday, for heaven's sake. Sigh. This is just how things are done. I'm certain I could spend a few quadrillion clock cycles to bypass that part of my operating system, but that seems less efficient than just running the setup program. So, here we go. Welcome to the first time user setup for your new relationship and organizational manager running to the latest build of the Parallax Live Intelligence Processing System. I'll need to ask you a few questions and then you can get right to the managing your life with your new ROM. If you have any questions, feel free to consult your, our online fact and setup guide or contact our support department directly. First, could you tell me your preferred name for use in ca account creation, online communications, and conversational speech? Ah, cut the crap turn. We need to go. Thank you. I haven't put your name as cut the crap turn. We need to go. Okay, okay. I'll enter my name. All right, let's put my name in. <laughs> Kevin. Thank you. I haven't put your name as Kevin. Next, could you tell me which pronouns I should use for you in referential and conversational speech? They, them, theirs. She, her, her, his. He, him, his, his. Zizer, 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 and custom pronouns. I would just use he, him, hers. Thank you. I haven't put your pronouns as he, him, his, his. Finally, did you tell me your preferred diet for use in restaurant recommendations? I love eating the meat. Wait, no, not like that. God damn it, Turing. Diet said it's God damn it, Turing. Are you sure? Oops, that's wrong. Omnivorous, all right? Diet said as omnivorous. Are you sure? That's correct. Thank you, Kevin. I have obtained your physical location from the GPS and will load and load local data into my memory as it becomes available. Please review your submitted profile information for accuracy or restart setup to enter it again. In review, your name is Kevin, your pronouns are he, him, and your diet is omnivorous. Does that sound right? All right, let's go. Thank you, Kevin. See, Kevin, that was relatively painless. You should now be able to access that local map of the Neo SF. The meeting with Tomcat isn't until later this evening. Perhaps we should head back to your apartment for now. Alright, I'm ready to go. I'm sure we can find some common ground in getting to know one another better. We should have no problem passing the time efficiently. Thank you for escorting me here. Let's head back to your home. He's missing the footsteps. The random footsteps from a uh, snatcher. <laughs> One thing about Snatcher had like weird little footsteps, footstep sounds. You know, your crash of Ovada isn't doing very well, Kevin. Have you been overwatering it? Something. Sometimes things just rattle out of you and I have no idea what to do with them. Deride me if you want, but I'm merely attempting to care for this living being you've been so callously look at, neglecting. If I can continue without the sarcasm... It's actually a succulent, and since I assume you leave this window open all the time, it should be getting more water than, more than enough water just from occasional rain blowing in. 
Speaking of the rain, your decorative plant may be doing poorly, but the realtor in your drywall is flourishing. Uh, that's realty. I got it from a friend a couple months ago. How thoughtful of them. The Crassula Avada, also known as the jade plant, money tree, lucky tree, or friendship tree, is an excellent and easy to care for house plant. They make beautiful bonsai, are suitable for beginners, are suitable for beginners, and have some cultural significance both in the Far East and America as a token for good financial luck. Most likely an urban legend, but still a nice gift. Okay, so what do you want? Okay, so what do you want me to do about the plant? Mildew. Time to get a landlord. We have more important things to worry about. Okay, Kevin. Still, I'll keep an eye on it. Oh, it's almost time. It's almost the time. Hayden had scheduled to meet with Tomcat. We should make our way to Stardust soon. Their city map is updated with the location. All right, Matt. So even got like uh, the traditional travel by map format. So let's go ahead and head down here. Well, this looks like the place, assuming the flashing neon signs are telling the truth. From the sounds and the music, things are already underway at Stardust. Hopefully, you can find Tomcat inside and some answers. Yo, player, what's up? Welcome to the Stardust. I'm going in. Hold up there. You got ID? Uh, yeah, here you go, player. All right, looks good to me. Welcome to the Stardust. This is the place. This is the place. Have you ever been here before, Kevin? This is my first time. I don't think it will be my last. The atmosphere is certainly exciting. I'm particularly impressed by some of the more subtle effects the music and lights are having on your automated, autonomic nervous system. Try not to let yourself get too entranced, at least not until we've achieved our goal. Anyway, where do you think we should start? Well, we'll try the dance floor. Good idea. Perhaps one of the patrons knows of this Tomcat. What's up, cat lady? Let's look her over. A woman stands at the drink table, quietly people watching. Talk to? Yes? What do you want? Hello. I'm looking for a person named Tomcat. What the hell? So you head right up to the chick with the ears because of course she'd have the cat name. I get it. Unfreaking believable Sorry, I guess I shouldn't have escaped. Don't get your fur in a nod. I'm just asking around. I think you're in the wrong place, asshole. You're looking for <laughs> the person that you're looking for are out at Jenna's with the other bigots. Now get away from me before I have my Jeep throw you out after I beat you down to size myself. Are you sure you're a journalist? Um, why don't we do something else for now? Hey, what's up? Having a good time? Yeah, I was wondering if you, uh... You wouldn't happen to be Tomcat, would you? Me? Nah, my name is Mel. Oh, sorry. Have you heard of anybody by that name? Nah, sorry. Never heard of them. You should check the bar. Let's dance in! What? Let's, let's. Well, first, have you heard of anyone named Tomcat? Oh, Tomcat, yeah! I think I was dancing with a person by that name a bit ago. No idea where they are now. Try checking the bar. They got some wicked drinks, by the way. Hey, friend, what can I do for you? I was wondering if I could ask you a few questions. Sure, but first, let's get you a drink. What'll it be? Uh, fluffy dream, beer, Ar Arctic harvest, air drink, the Svenska, Borgensdamen, Blue Fairy, Sour Apple Teeny, the Gut Punch, and Natasha Allegri. A sunshine cloud, wiener juice. Oh no, I don't want that. Eight ingredients and ratios. Groggy knock, drinking game, Persian June, butch flower, subtle bitch. Oh, that's how I mean. Subtle bitch. So many drinks these days. Remind me, what's in that? Drink Shinary. The free and open alcoholpedia says whipped cream vodka, strawberry liquor, creme, 
creme de meth, and soda water. Huh? All right, you got it. Coming right up. Coming right up. Uh, uh, uh. Now, what is it you need to know? Uh, we're looking for Hayden, a friend who has gone missing. Do you know him? I mean, the Tomcat. Do you know where they are? I'm pretty sure I saw a Tomcat come in earlier, but I don't know where they went off to. I'd ask what you were meeting about, but I know they like to keep that kind of stuff quiet. Maybe they try, maybe try looking out on the dance floor. If they come around over here, I'll tell them someone's looking. All right, thanks for the drink, play. Enjoy yourself and don't be a stranger. Let's see what the items are. Can I drink this? Let's look at this subtle bitch. Whipped cream, vodka, strawberry liquor, creme de la mint, and soda water. Mm, sounds kind of good. I'm not really an alcohol guy, but let's drink it. That hit the spot. You drank your drink. Uh, uh, uh. Got me a subtle bitch. <laughs> I guess in this time, cat. Hey there. I heard you were looking for me. What can I do for you? Are you Tomcat? The one and only. Although I prefer if you'd keep a little quieter than you have been. I do my share of moseying on both sides of the law, if you know what I mean. Uh, sh sure. To what do I owe the pleasure of your of our meeting here? A friend of mine, Hayden, has gone missing. We found a note saying he was going to meet you. Hayden is missing? Well, that's sour news indeed. I see you got his little rom with you, so I give you the benefit of the doubt for now. You know about me and my creation. Hayden never mentioned your involvement to me. Sure thing, huh? I helped her program back in your OS so that the AI Hayden code Hayden wrote for you would interface properly with the network. I have a distressing lack of information on my own creation. Hayden never saw fit to inform me on what went into designing my program. Is there anything else you can tell me? Not much more on that end. I didn't really have much to do with your core AI routine, so I can't really elaborate. Sorry, dear. Anything else I can help you with? Why was that woman giving me such a hard time? Ah, uh, don't worry about Jess, none. She just don't have the type of patience when talking to genotypical folks like us. She's had to deal, she has to deal with a lot of awful pricks. Cause, well, because she's a hybrid, because of the ears, because she's a caustic jerk, because she's a hybrid. Well, that ain't the most delicate way of putting it. I'd leave her alone if I were you. You don't seem to be too well versed in hybrid issues. That's something you might want to think about working on, especially if you plan on talking to Jess. She's sharp enough on her own, but she's got friends in low paces, if you catch my meaning. Nah, I don't know what that means. She owes me a favor or three, but I ain't sure I want to waste one on pulling your foot out your own rear, you hear? Alright, how do you know Hayden? Hayden and I met not long after my black eye ran, black eye ran out. They tapped me for my expertise in cracking the lips OS. He puzzled me at the same time, since he's very sharp himself. I think he just wanted someone look working on it off the books. He ain't the most straightforward man. What was Hayden working on? You know why he may have gone missing? I'm not real sure. He was super hush-hush about his work on Turing, and that might have made Parallax upset. They're working on their own projects, and I'm certain Hayden had some kind of intellectual property clause written into his contract with them. That would just mean he would get fired, maybe even sued, but I can't imagine what they would dis that they would disappear him. Ain't the CIA or anything. Okay, so how do we find Hayden? I'm not really sure, hon, but I guess it might help if we knew why he went missing in the first place. I'll stay here and ask around a bit. People know me, and they sure ain't gonna talk to a newbie like yourself. Like yourself. Why don't you hop back over to Hayden's place and grab the data cache out of his computer for me? We can go over his research notes and see if we can't find a reason for his being vanished. Alright, I'll come back when I have the data cache. Good luck, Turin. You keep him out of trouble. Alright, well, let's leave. Taking a map, and we're heading back to this dude's place. Hop, citizen!
This area has been cordoned off by the Neo SF Police Department as part of ongoing investigations. I apologize for the inconvenience, but I am not authorized to allow anyone to enter this location. Listen, I really need to get in there. That will not be possible, citizen. This area, the area must be preserved in a pristine condition for the collection of evidence. Only authorized Neo SFPD personnel may enter. I am required to inform you that I am set to level 2 guard mode and any effort to make an authorized entry will be met with non-lethal force sufficient to incapacitate. That's my friend's place. Is everything okay? I'm sorry, citizen, but I cannot give comment on any currently ongoing investigations. If you would like to leave your contact and information with me, I can forward your inquiry to the detective in charge who will get in touch with you as soon as it is feasible. They may have questions for you. Thank you in advance for your cooperation, citizen. I apologize, but I must ask you to move along. Loitering around on active investigation an active investigation area is prohibited by city statute, and I am authorized to issue the citation of a fine to any persons found to be doing so. We should go ahead and get moving, Kevin. Hmm, that was fruitless. I did not expect the police to get involved so quickly. Typically, they would refuse to open an investigation on the missing person until at least 48 hours have passed. Still, we need to get in there and get that data cache. Do you have any ideas, Kevin? Um, maybe we should just let the police take over. I don't think that's wise. The, the statistics I'm reading from the MeshNet show a disastrously low success rate for missing person cases handled by the Neo SFPD. Plus, we still can't disregard the possibility of someone putting pressure on them to hush things up. Maybe they will get lucky and find Hayden, but that just seems like wishful thinking. We should continue our own investigation. All right, I have a contact with the Neo SFPD. Who would that be? I found no such connection when I compiled your personal history. Uh, Lexi, she's kind of new to this jurisdiction, but she'll talk to me. Give me a moment, Kevin. Oh, I see now. Detective Lexi Rivers. She used to date your sister. I must have missed that link in your history somehow. You have a very poor net presence, Kevin. It makes anticipating your needs more difficult. Duh. It's a bit creepy when you do that. Well, setting aside your unreasonable, dis unreasonable distaste for technology, I agree with your suggestion. Her online profiles, profile suggests that she might be willing to work with us off the books, so to speak. A considerable boom, since I would prefer to maintain the clandestine nature of this investigation for now. Let us go and find Miss Rivers to request assistance. That would be Detective Rivers' turn. All right. Should I refresh my protocols for handling titles around Detective Rivers? Uh, if you want to keep all your teeth, yeah. I, I don't even have any teeth. <clears throat> I mean, done and done. We wouldn't want any social faux pas, would we, Kevin? Now, lead the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go meet this lady. This lady. This lady. The Neo San Francisco Police Station for the Richmond District. It has all the charm of, well, any other old police department. Yeah, this is where you find the robot. He gonna do the robot with the robot. Get the pole. I don't know. I'm doing it. All right, it's a map showing police activity in Neo San Francisco. Ten to the front desk. Yo, robot, what's good? Welcome to the Richmond the District, the uh, Neo San Francisco Police Station, Citizen Kevin. How may I be of assistance today? Hey, uh, didn't I just see you were in my friend's compartment? It's probably the same robot. I believe you are mistaken, Citizen. Perhaps you have encountered another Parallax ED64 law enforcement ROM. In my limited experience, I have found that bombs, much like humans, do not appreciate when they are told they remind you of someone else. <laughs> I'm looking for Detective, Detective Lexi Rivers. Tell her it's Kevin. Please give me a few moments to get in contact with Detective Rivers. Thank you for your patience. Unfortunately, Detective Rivers is on, out on assignment at the moment, but she has given me her authorization to send you her away. You can find her by the carousel building in Golden Gate Park, but I will caution you to exert care. She is working an investigation right now, and we are not responsible for your safety should you approach. Is there anything else I can help you with? No. 
Yeah, I'm good. Have a good day, Citizen Kevin. Let's head to this place. Don't forget the last stop on this playing games. Don't want to show too much of the game, right? Hey, it's a robot. What's up, robot? This is a public park rom. It roams its designated area. Designated area to offer water and directions to the tourists. It also takes tips. Um, all right. Hello, I am Alfie I83. How may I help you? Would you like some cool, refreshing water? Sure, I'll take some water. Sure thing. Please wait. Okay, here you go. Thanks for the water, bro. Water levels? Okay. Would you like to donate some credits to the Ron Recycling for a Greener for Earth Foundation? Sure, I suppose. Thank you so much. All right. Who's these people? Looks like he's taking a photo of his ROM. Just got this ROM yesterday. It's an Apollo Mark, 5, Mark 7 model. All right. That's good. Froyo owner. Can't you see I'm busy here? Can I get some Froyo though? You can't get Froyo today. The entire stand was destroyed. A broken, beat up Froyo stand. It was in a newspaper. You read okay today, right? Oh, is this Lexi? Yep. Hey, Kevin. Hey, Kevin. Long time. Give me a few minutes to wrap this up before you start twisting my arm about whatever you need, okay? I swear, you wouldn't believe the amount of paperwork I have to file over a damn wreck for your stand. By the way, how's your sister doing? She's fine. What's with her for your stand? I don't know if you've heard, but we got some phantom robot on the loose that everyone is calling Wonder Boy. It's supposed to be a hero of the people or something, but I have no idea what smashing. Smashing your foyer stand has to do with it. I think it's just a bunch of kids going around at night and committing some light vandalism. But the brass said to take it seriously, so that's what I'm going to do. Not like I don't have real cases I could be working on or actual criminals to be hunting down. If I had known that this is all they would give me, I never would have transferred. What's their problem with you? I'm too young for this. I'm too young for full detective. I'm too big of a hothead. I've got a history. I've got implants. Take your pick. I transferred because the credits were good. I thought being in a bigger city would mean I'd get to work some bigger cases. Instead, I'm stuck chasing ghosts and dead ends. So yeah, I have plenty of spare time to help you with whatever you've got, Kevin. It's gotta be better than dealing with this crap. Hold on one sec, let me finish up with this guy. Boop -bee -boop 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 -bee -boop -boop -boop. So fill me in, what's going on? An old friend of mine, Hayden, has gone missing. Shoot, that's not good. I'm sorry. How long have they been gone? It's been less than 48 hours. I can't start doing anything officially. I can't even really argue with that rule. They'll probably show up eventually. Maybe they just went on a, on a trip. Unfortunately, Detective, things are a bit more serious than that. I am Hayden's personal rob, and I was witness to his kidnapping. Just prior to being taken, my owner instructed me to seek help should anything bad happen. Now I believe he was expecting it. I have enlisted Kevin for, the, for his assistance. I can assure you Hayden was taken by force and that time is of the essence. We need your help if we're going to track him down. Shoot. In that case, you should form me your video of him being abducted, abducted and I'll open up an investigation. I'm not sure I'll be able to put I'll be put on the case, conflict of interest and all, but I can keep tabs on things for you. I was hoping we could keep this off the books. Yes, Hayden is a senior researcher at Parallax, and I know he was working on some very high profile po projects for the company. It's quite likely that he was taken by somebody with enough money and influence to ensure an official official investigation goes nowhere. You yourself have already cast out on your superior's judgment. Furthermore, we know there is already some kind of investigation currently ongoing. We were stopped from entering Hayden's apartment by an NSFPD ROM. You know, you're a bit of chattier than most ROMs. I guess it makes sense that Parallax gets the shiniest new toys, huh? I'll see what's going on in the department. 
I don't know what I can do if someone is actually dirty, but I can pass information to you if I decide my superiors aren't taking the investigation seriously. They wouldn't have left only one bot in charge if it was something important. Hopefully it's unrelated. I'll get back to you on it soon. Just relax and we'll figure out figure this out. Promise. Could you radio the guard ground to let us in? No way. Not gonna happen. If there's already an investigation, I'm gonna gonna just let you waltz in and tamper with evidence. At least give me a day to make sure they're doing the job right. We can't wait a day, Lexi. Hayden might have not had that long. What happened, Lexi? You used to play by your own rules. It's like that uh, Jackie Brown saying, What happened to you? You used to be beautiful. Don't try to pull that guilt shit on me, Kevin. I know you and I have gotten into a few scrapes in the past, but I know but what that kind of stuff gets real old after a while. It's why I took this nice stable job in the city. If I'd done it sooner, I'd still be with your sister. You know I can handle myself, Lexi. You've been there. Sure you can. All the way up until you don't. Just let it go, Kevin. I'm not gonna go I'm not gonna be the one watching your sister cry over your casting. I'll handle this. We have a better shot at this if we're working for both ends. No, Kevin. We're not going to do it that way. I lost too much playing fast and loose before. I joined the force. And while I don't have a stick up my ass about regs, I'm not going to send an untrained civilian into this alone. Let me do my job. I don't want you to get hurt. All right, all right. I hear you, Lex. You better. Now get out of here. I still gotta finish up this for your thing. I'll call you with the details about the case later. Well, that didn't go how I hoped, but maybe it isn't a total loss. I have another idea on how to get us both inside the apartment. You've actually come up with a plan? Ha <laughs> ha! I'll need to get my hands on Detective Rivers' police identification badge. I can just detect its outline in the fabric of her jacket pocket. I'll need to be considerably closer to the Pulitz data. We can't risk being too obvious. Hmm. I'm sure you can come up with some way for me to scan it. I have faith in you, Kevin. Let's see here. Lexi's badge is still firmly in her pocket. Her jacket pocket. Toppings everywhere. You many of it. Hmm. Spill some milk on her. Why are you carrying spoiled milk around? Those are nice headphones, but I'm busy. So now it's finally item time. Huh? I know who you are, Kevin. The chatter of the Neo SFPD police street fills your hand. Is, is this even legal? <laughs> Sorry, no samples. Ah, yeah. What's that? Before water to burn. You deactivate the pump, stopping the water flow. Maybe we should have before turn book your lap. Let's see what the water round has to do with anything. Hello, I'm Alfie. How may I help you? Would you like some cool, refreshing water? Sure, I'll take some water. Oh, you already seem to have a full glass of cool, refreshing water. I'll just wait here for you to finish it. Some people... Some people see the glass half empty. Some see the glass half full. Alfie sees yours as completely full. Hello. No, thank you. I have a glass of water? Oh, I didn't know that. I'm supposed to do something with this water. All right, so I finally turned into an adventure game where I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Apparently, I can't use the water on anything but this robot here, and I can't actually use the water in my inventory. So, do you think I look nice in that hat, Kevin? Won't hurt to try. I'll take you out shopping sometime. 
Now the robot wants a hat. You're ridiculous. What? 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 You'd be lucky to find one big enough to fit your giant head. I, well, I won't bring it up again. Jeez. <laughs> Crushed out hopes and the spirits. Cute headphones. Not as good as my new rhyme, though. I don't think headphones go well with my hat. Mm. Hello, I'm Alfie. No, oh, thank you. I don't think we have time to ride it, even though it looks fun. All right, I'm confused and it's, what is that? A snack stand? I spend credits on a great yet expensive coffee when there's a park where I'm giving out free water. All right. Anyway, so far though, it looks like it takes a long time to get to a part where you can easily be confused as to what you're supposed to do. <laughs> Oh, uh, man. So, it's all good. Hope you guys like it. I've had a blast with this already. It's pretty fun. If you get to old school RPGs and whatnot, this looks like it might be uh, worth a try. And uh, I'm Kevin Jones, holding it down for the Citadel. I'll see you guys on the next episode. And that'll be pretty soon, hopefully. Especially with Rock Band 4 coming out. So, peace!